Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing a full assembly keyboard, battery, and trackpad on a MacBook Pro. So this battery here is broken. Actually, it's not holding the charge. As you can see that the battery is swollen. There's a big lump here on the battery, which is pushes out the trackpad and the bottom cover of the laptop. So in order to get the battery replaced, my recommendation is to get a full assembly which is something like this. Uh, it's a battery that is all in one piece together with the keyboard and as well as the trackpad. All right, so if you have any of those problems, then you just change it out as a full assembly. Let's take a look here. The model of this is A1502. And to remove the back cover, you need to have a Pentalope P5. This is a P5 Pentalux screwdriver. Remove four screws here on the top. Two screws uh, on each side in the middle and four screws at the bottom. And the entire thing will just come right off. These are the screws that I already removed. I just wanted to point it out to you and just put it here on the side. Let's jump right into the, uh, the computer. So we'll be transferring the motherboard and the screen over to the replacement and just leave the uh, the broken one as is. First disconnect the battery, disconnect some of the cables, you make sure you open up the little clipper, the clipper has to flip it open, slide the LCD to the right, slide the cable away from you, This is the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the, the connector is the wrong connects in, you just have to lift it straight up to disconnect them. This is the keyboard, make sure you flip open the little clipper, slide the keyboard down towards your body, open up the clipper, trackpad, slide it down. Open up the clipper, slide the flex cable down, disconnect this little thing. I'll be using a T5. Remove some of the screws. Connect the speaker, lift it straight up, slide it, slide this connector to the left. If you can't really slide it, you want to do the push and push and pull. So I'm gonna push here slightly little, push it and pull it out. Flip open the little clipper and slide the CPU fan connector. That is the flex cable for the CPU fan. All right, and then remove this little rubber here on both sides, left and right, remove them. Using our T5, I'm going to remove the screen first. Remove this little piece here. Same thing on this side, we gotta remove that. T8 Let's remove three of the screws Open up the screen. And then remove the hinge and slide it right off. Now 
now we can transfer everything over to the full assembly replacement remove the two screws for the DC jack This is the CPU fan screw, the three. Did I remove this screw earlier? I'm not too sure if I did. We need a Phillips screwdriver for this tiny little screw. Okay, we have the motherboard ready to be removed. Slip it here on the side. Using a T8, remove this big bigger screw here okay let's see if the speakers are here it looks like this the assembly came with the speaker so I'll leave the speaker here as this You want to slide this thing in you do not want that little metal bracket sitting on top of the base you have to slide it underneath Okay, now when you slide in the uh, the motherboard, you want to make sure all the cables are sitting above the motherboard. You want to try your best to do it. I know it's not easy in one try, but give it a try just by sliding it in. I like to slide it in uh, to the right. You want to make sure that the metal is sitting underneath the base again. And double checking to make sure the cables are sitting above it. Keyboard cable come up.
So the challenging part is to get all the cables sitting above the motherboard at the same time. The motherboard would have to be sit flush on it. So that is the biggest challenge overall. Um, but once you get it, then great. So it looks like everything is in. I feel like the motherboard is sitting flush um, without having any problem with it. So great, all the cables are sitting above. Wonderful. Alright, so let me get the uh, Philip back to the top left corner. That is the only Philip screwdriver here for the heat sink uh, on the top left corner. There's only Philip. Okay, so. They're just like Lego. Once you position them in the right position, all you have to do is they just snap back onto it. Uh, just be very careful with that. And for the CPU fan cable, just have to make sure you slide it in. That the connector is open. Once it's in the connector, you can just close it. Trackpad, same position. Make sure the connector is open. Slide it in. For the keyboard, same drill. all the way in close it down Okay, now it's time for the screen. Making sure the hinge are open. Gonna slide it in on both sides so the hinge goes in. And same on this side, make sure the hinge is all the way in. Okay, while you're holding up the screen, just have to put one of the screw in because we need to close the screen in order to finish up the repair. So get one of the screw in there. Let's close the screen down. 
and finish up the screws here. And do the same on the other side. Once that is done, making sure that you reconnect the, uh, the cable, just slide it down like such and reconnect the Wi-Fi. Do not forget this little piece right here. DC jack, LCD screen. Yeah, I'm never able to get that thing back together, so just leave it up, reconnect the battery back in, double check all the cables. Yep, everything looks good. Cover this up and finish up the rest of the screw and that should be it. Okay, and then just finish up the screw and that should be it. So thanks for watching. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement part, check the link down in the description below. I'll link it for you. And of course, um, if you feel free to smash the like button, please do that for me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.